Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Time for you to <laughs> go. If you make it to the finale and win, mm -hmm. what would you do with the money? I'm here playing for my family. I have four daughters, so Starbucks and Lululemon will take most of it, probably. <laughs> Joe's got his usual outfit on, you know, something a little ostentatious, a little braggadocious. Saw the loafers, Joe. Rob. Nice to meet you. I have to be honest, I, I do recognize you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm Rob Mariano. You guys know me as Boston Rob. I want to control the game. I haven't figured it out yet, but I will. You know what time it is? It's iced tea time. Iced tea time on Deal or No Deal Island. It's iced tea time. If there's literally one thing I cannot stand, it's snakes. I just hate them. I don't have a reason why. I just, they're not for me. Come on, come on. Oh, you can get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. <laughs> oh, dude, he trying to. I hate this part of these games where everybody shares because I know it's all nonsense. I don't want to give away any unnecessary information if I don't have to. All that's going to do is put a target on me. So I watched and I learned some things. That's rule number one of the Boston Rob rule book. Pay attention. Heroes and villains. You're the villain. I mean, I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> She's starting paranoia. If you want to talk about me, I'm coming up. So if, FYI, don't ruin your game, because I'm here. I'm going to snap. I'm going to snap. Little did I know, on NBC Tonight, Amy is losing her mind. I don't give a <laughs> When I leave this game, if you don't like me and we never talk again, cool. To take so I on. sat down, grabbed a little snack, put on a hat, and watched the show. I'm going to freak out on somebody. That's what's going to happen. I don't play that. If you don't like me, don't come to me. That's who I am in real life, and that's who I am here. The best part is it's a live feed, 24-7, no commercials. Four or five people have limo. Like, just FYI, we want to let you know you're a target. Like, maybe you think you can trust people that you really can't. When I win immunity, I'm blowing this up. What happened? <laughs> oh, my and Rob and Nick have tipped their paddleboard again. I don't know if these paddleboards will load test it for two grown men. We would be together on this <laughs> You have this <laughs> <laughs> But I think we had the most trouble out of anyone out there. I mean, it was really difficult. We need Ben to come save us, right, I think. I can't stand. I know for a come fact on, I can't come stand. On, get up. <laughs> Bro, I never did this come before. Come on, guy, get up. <laughs> Nick and Rob trying out a new strategy, standing up on the paddleboard. <laughs> this morning, I'm trying to form some kind of a trust relationship with everybody that's not in my alliance. I won't eliminate you, you don't eliminate me. Nonsense conversation. I don't always have to be the straight target. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm always going to be yeah. easy to rally people to get me. Yep. But 100%. in the meantime, maybe we could do some business. I mean, I'm always down for business. I'm, I'm open. I definitely think. What, what the f is this idiot's name? Dal Dalton Dawson. Yeah. Dawson could be on my side. Mm -hmm. I'm in. You just let me know who else. Who else do you feel good about? Like, who are you gravitating towards? The name of this game is Don't Close Doors. I'm a little bit like free agent. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a free agent. <laughs> That's my line. I'm a free agent. Come and get me. I haven't had this conversation that I'm having with you right now with anybody else. Like, I'm trying to find someone that's going to be straight with me and be real with me and want to rock with me. This is the first conversation I've had with anyone. Really? Yeah, really. One-on-one, -on -one, me and you, to the end, yes. Let's not make this obvious. No. My social game's still on point. When Aaron left the temple, I was definitely concerned for him. That's my guy. I think the best way, really, to honor Alyssa in this yes. situation Put is to still out. play our hearts out. I have a reputation. Some would say a little bit of a villain, but I do have a soft spot for Aaron. When he hurts, a little part of me hurts, too. And I can see with Aaron when he needs some love. <laughs> Those four up there, Aaron, it's us versus them. And if any of them give you any hard time, you come see me and I'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. I know. In right. this game, winning is still important to me, but there's other things that are important too. I got you. I appreciate it, bro. You got it, buddy.
making his way back through the water. Rob, what do you think you have? I don't know. I grabbed one randomly. Let me ask you this. Do you feel lucky? 375. Rob, the $3.75 million dollar case. I got the third highest. Oops. Somebody got lucky. <laughs> Purple. My dog. As luck would have it, I got mm. the beast, Aaron. I'm not going to do amazing this. Oh, God. Physically, he's not there yet. But my main objective is obviously to keep myself safe. Because we've seen what we're dealing with out here. Rob, down to his last arrow. Kim, down to her last arrow. OK. If you miss with this last arrow, you and Alyssa will place last. You can do it. And be up for elimination. I feel bad for Alyssa. Just missed it. Kim misses with her final arrow. So unless Rob misses as well, you and Alyssa are the bottom two. When the pressure's on, I love it. Not to say that I always make the shot, because I don't. But I always want to take the shot. Focus, Rob, Rob. You got this. Oh, Can't even watch. control of this game! Yes! We destroyed that. We did, we did. It's okay. Me and Wob were superheroes. Didn't like Batman Robin, guys. I'm not Robin. I know. Someone that was like good in chaos. Under you know, pressure. Under pressure. Good you know, under pressure. Hawkeye. You hit, That's you not did a it. superhero. I know, That's but from MASH, bro. Okay. Getting better. A lot better. Yeah, that it, it was it is some weird. kind of reaction or something. You said he's allergic to wood. I'm like, brother, you went under a tree. Yeah, that's, that's probably why. You're allergic to wood? Yeah, I know. This I don't know how you even got this far. I've, I've been killing bugs. I've been chilling. <laughs> I put my hand in the snake pit. I know, but the wood and the, the trees wood. that are going to get you. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> it's like two types of trees. They're not even in, they're not even in this island. It's a little mess out. When this thing's over, I'm going to get you a bubble. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, my god. I'll be the one who's not bluffing, so yeah. And since you're the bluffer, Jordan, go ahead and put your cases up. So I have a degree in psychology from Boston University. Jordan looks at one case, looks at the other case, looks back at the other case again. She looked twice at that case. She likes it more. <laughs> OK. I'm going to choose this one right here. Pull the cord. See if you're right. Oh, yeah, Dawson wins. Gold team, six hundred thousand dollars. You're in your right to choose whoever you want, absolutely. But the only thing I took a little bit pause to was like when you kind of got personal and you were like, "Oh, we're gonna kick your ass." It's like I was, was kind of like shocked when you said that. I was joking with you guys, but if you didn't it take didn't it as a joke, it didn't come off as a joke, really. It oh didn't feel. Like... Okay, I am so sorry. That good. was one hundred percent meta as a joke. Of course I knew it was a joke. <laughs> Come on. Coming into this game, I obviously have a huge reputation and a huge target on me. I have to do whatever I can to turn it to someone else. I'll just pretend I'm mad a little and stir the pot. Let's do it. OK. Do it. If anyone can do it, you can run. I used to work in construction. Heights is the least thing I'll ever be afraid of. First one up. All right, they're watching the best. We're not dealing with rocket scientists over here. Good luck out there, man. Thanks. If anything, they should be scared of me. Come on, Rob. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got this. Get that two million out of here. All right. Let's get them up. Five stories up he goes, suspended by a cable hooked to 100-year-old trees. Oh, my oh god. My. Oh, my god. <laughs> Don't look down. You got okay, this. Rob, this is nothing for you. Well, then here goes nothing. <sighs> oh, 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 wait. Oh. Here comes Rob. Rob. 
with the release and hits the million. Yeah! Million. There we go. Yeah! I'm feeling pretty good, but I know the two billion is still out there and it's still anybody's game. The one million dollar case belongs to Rob so for now. Nice They're not smart enough to understand this. The people that are able to separate their emotions from their strategy will often get the better result. I just know that she's such a schemer that nothing with her is ever a conversation. I believe it. She just told me that Aaron's coming after me. That's, a That's what she just told me. But at the same time, when they're at each other, that means they're not coming at me. I'm saying it was good, it was perfect. You're, you're pretty good at this. Yeah, well. So I have immunity going to Temple tonight because Claudia did me a real solid and literally gave up her case to keep me safe in this game. Would I have done that for her? I mean... He, you and heroes were supposed villains, correct? <laughs> right? Yeah. You, you're the hero. No, I was a villain. You were the villain? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, we're the Boston brains. Yeah, for exactly. sure. Yeah, we're obviously. actually the only ones with brains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got the brains, obviously the beauty, and the charming personalities. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What else do you need? Yeah. The banker wanted me to convey to you that you only get one chance on his island, not a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance. This isn't Survivor. I got it. Before I tell you the offer, there's still some big numbers on the board. $600,000. $400,000. With a board like this, you could look out for yourself and take an early deal, or you can keep playing to increase the value of the final case. Yes. With that said, the banker's opening offer is $49,000. OK. But again, the game is twofold. There's the final case you're thinking about, but then there's also making a good deal. I knocked out a lot of big number cases. 49,000 is not a lot to bring to the end, but the board is in my favor to stay in the game. It's kind of a strange situation you're sitting in right now. Yeah. I mean, there's really no decision for me, Joe. What's your intuition telling you? I bet with the odds. Always. Deal or no deal? I got to take the deal. All right. OK. OK. Right on. Right. Rob is taking the deal okay. of $49,000. That money is going into the group's pool in the final case, $1,054,000. Thousand dollars. Right on! Yeah. Wow. Now it's time to see if you made a good deal or a bad deal, Rob. All right. If your case has less than the offer you just accepted, you've made a good deal, which means you get to stay in the game and you get to choose who will be eliminated tonight. Right. But if your case is any one of those on the right side, even just the 100,000, this would be a bad deal and you would bust out. That's not happening. Yeah? We got it. OK. You ready? I'm ready. You guys ready? Here we go. There's a poker expression called one time. It's when you pray to the poker gods to let you hit that one outer. Tonight, I need to use my one time. Because if I don't, I'm gone. But here's the thing. You can only use the one time. One time. OK. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Ready? Please open case number four. One, two, three. Reputation as the ultimate player stays intact. You are staying in this game, Rob, and you have taken control.